Hello wrestling fans, in this video we're going to be talking about 5 finishes that I feel need updating in WWE 2K22. There is a ton of move animations in WWE 2K games, some look really good and others somewhat are lacking. For 2K22, 2K and Visual Concepts have confirmed even more animations to the existing list, with the combined 4800 moves and entrance animations being added to the game. As part of the 4800, I expect we will get some brand new moves and some updated ones too, of which I hope finishes will be taken into account. With that in mind, here are 5 finishes that I feel are in need of a new animation. The first finisher that comes to mind is Roman Reigns' Corner Spear. To start off, the setup is all wrong and has never been accurate. The Tribal Chief normally signals for the spear with his trademark taunt. When it comes to the move itself, I feel Reigns' Corner Spear in 2K games also needs more impact. At present, it comes off rather anticlimactic. This spear is also desperately calling out for a pin combo, as hitting the Corner Spear feels rather slow, and the time it takes for Reigns to exit the animation and enter into a pin takes far too long. If we look at Reigns' second finisher, the Running Spear, it actually does a much better job at replicating how Reigns hits the move in real life. The animation feels much more smooth, and it does have a pin combo. If a variation of this was used for the corner spear, I think it would look much better. The Stone Cold Stunner is another move that needs a new animation, or at least a return of an older version that was included in a previous game. Austin used to have a great variety of stunners, some of which he taunt his opponent after hitting the move and they looked awesome. We even had the famous Rock Cell. Unfortunately, for some reason, these have all been taken out, and the Austin finishes we are left with are undoubtedly the weakest of the selection. This stunner in particular looks really bad, and does not do the Rattlesnake any justice. For my third pick, I would like to see a new variation of Brock Lesnar's F5, one that matches the beast's intensity. Now, I will say, I don't think that the F5 that 2K have chosen for Brock is that bad, but I would love to see some more expression on Lesnar's face and an all-round quicker execution. The F5 is often a move that Brock can hit out of nowhere, and that isn't the case with this rather slow animation. There is a quicker variation of the F5 in the list of moves, but despite it being faster, it doesn't suit Lesnar that well. Ideally, I'd prefer the opponent to hit the mat on their side rather than face first. This is normally how they land in real life. On to Seth Rollins' curb stomp. This needs some tweaking too, a move that again would really benefit from a few different variations. For example, a running finisher which transitions you straight into the stomp while the opponent's on the ground, and a corner setup would be a welcome inclusion. For the main version that we already have, I feel it would look much better if the opponent was closer to the mat rather than standing in a bent over position, and again, this needs to be given a pin combo. If I had my way with the curb stomp, I would remove the gut kick and have it be a ground finisher, in which Seth quickly bounces off the ropes. I think this would work much better for the default version. One other note on the curb stomp currently is you can't hit the move outside the ring, which you should be able to do in 2K22. For the final finisher, which needs a rework or updating, we have the rock bottom. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment has one of the most unelectrifying moves in 2K20. There's not a lot to say about this move other than it just doesn't look very good. It's too slow and another move that lacks a pin combo. Even if 2K just gave this version a pinning combination, it would be a big improvement. The way The Rock gets up from this move really ruins the animation. Again, it's just not very good. If we look at the catching rock bottom, I actually think this is much better. The rock bottom falls into the same troubled zone as the Stone Cold Stunner. It just looked a ton better in older games. So they were my 5 finishes that need an update for WWE 2K22. Let me know if you agree or even disagree, and what 5 would you like to see updated come the game's launch. Make sure you leave us a comment, why not drop a like on this video, and until the next one, Thanks for watching.